Hi everybody, welcome to Friendship Shaving. I hope you're doing very well today. I'm your host Mark and today I'll be shaving with a very nice razor indeed. It is the Blackland Vector and I have it here. More on that as we go along. I've got a Kai razor blade in there. I've got a Kai Captain original razor blade and this one is from tryablade.com and uh, today's soap is from Captain's Choice and it is a 45th parallel. I've been back to the sample basket and uh, this is the last little bit of that sample and I've got some whipped up on my brush and today's brush is a vintage ever ready 200T that I've restored and I've put in uh, a little synthetic brush. I bought a number of them from Umo Shaving. Um, I really think their synthetic brushes are very, very nice. I think they're made at the same place that uh, Yaki or Yashi uh, get their synthetics from but you can see this is a, a nice soft brush and it's applying this beautiful soap very well it's um 45th parallel is a cherry scented soap when I first put my nose into the tub I get a real vanilla cherry a really sweet definitely a little scent of vanilla and it is a sweet cherry mixed with some almond but it is the cherry that comes through for me very nice i do like this one And there we are, as simple as that. We are lathered up and ready to go. With a wonderful razor today, and I'd really like to thank my friend Sven for passing this razor along to me. The phrase less is more really is appropriate for this razor. Um, it's got the blade already in it, but the handle, as you can see, has been narrowed at the top end. The balance point is just about here, but the handle widens out towards the bottom. It really makes it a very well balanced razor in the hand. I particularly like this little bevel here. Um, it's really quite handy for fingers. And when I turn it that way, for my thumb and finger to go against the grain. Terrific razor, it really is. So let's get going with that. As you would expect with a Blackland razor, everything fits together Im immaculately. And with this card blade, this is its second use. I'm getting a very nice shave indeed. I did try with a Kai Titan blade. But I think that blade is more suited for a folding razor or a Kamasura style razor. As it had uh, a stainless steel guard on the blade. The Kai Captains are... Just the standard blade. Um, 
I do wonder, 'cause Koei and Feather are both Japanese companies, and these Artist Club style blades from both companies are very similar. I wonder if they are made by the same parent company. Um, I don't know, it's just something that occurred to me. Like all razors, the more I use this, the better I'm getting with it. Um, when I, the first twice I used it, there's a slight variation in the angle when you move the handle. I can feel with this shape, but I think I've just got it exactly right. And as I say, that little bevel in the handle, you can see my finger and thumb went straight into it there where I changed hands. Very impressive. There we are, the first pass, it's easy as that. The twice that I've used this, I've had no problems with soreness or irritation. It's been a very nice razor to use. I haven't felt the need to put um, pre-shave on in between my passes that I experimented with a while back. I love this brush. I've got, it's another brush that I've restored. I'm not very good at it but this one has come out all right and uh, I know I always say I do like these American style vintage brushes and I've got a 22 millimeter knot in here so I had to drill a hole out to 24 mil and it did take away you won't be able to see because of that soap but it did take away a little bit of this top part here. The knots on these old brushes really were quite small. I think it would have been an 18mm knot perhaps originally in this. It would have been natural hair of some sort. So it maybe would have bloomed out a bit better than a synthetic. But I think they restore very, very nicely. Right, here we go. Gonna go cross hands on this pass. This race is a perfect size for me as it just sits on my little finger there. <coughs> Excuse me, very nicely. It has, and I do like this 
barber pole, barber pole finish. Let me hold it a bit closer. It maybe won't focus so well close in. Very nice indeed. The base, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but the base there is not a straight angle to the top of the base. It comes up slightly to meet this little bevel in the handle here. And when you put them together and they fit really tightly together, there's a sort of smoothness to that join. It's really well done. It's really well done. Oh, that's a shadow. Do you know, I've got such a shadow just under the bone there. I thought I had something on my skin, something dark. give you some of the what would you call it some of the some of the marks out of ten that Blackland give themselves for this razor so for efficiency, they mark it as 7 out of 10. I suppose some of that will depend on which blade you use. Um, as I say, with that Titan blade, with the stainless steel guard over the blade, it's designed like that for use in a straight razor. So a beginner can find the angle better and protect themselves a little bit. In this razor, it worked very well, but it was a little bit tuggy on the first pass. But I must say, I got a BBS shave and the two second and third pass were perfect. Um, really comfortable. This one... Feels okay, feels entirely different from that Titan blade and it feels different from the feather pink blades that I normally use. So perhaps with efficiency that will change depending on the blade, who knows. Um, 7 out of 10. Now for blade feel, I mark it as a 5 out of 10. Now that always seems quite a big number to me. There really isn't a great deal of blade feel with this razor. There is obviously a little bit. And I've marked it 5 out of 10. But I find it to be very comfortable. You can obviously tell after the shave that you, you know, it feels like you've had a, a good shave and dragged a sharp blade across your skin. But at no point during a shave it is, is it uncomfortable at all. The weight of the razor is 77 grams. So uh, it's very nicely weighted. What's that? That's about the weight of a Gillette Slim, I would say. But it feels very nice to me in the hand at that weight. And with being a little bit lighter 
than sun stainless steel razors. And having a slim form to it, it's very manoeuvrable and easy to shave with. Smoothness, I was saying it felt smooth. They mark that as an 8 out of 10. I would say that they're, they're quite good at, uh, at marking their razors. I would say that's a fair assessment. Here we are, let's go. Let's go against the grain now. I don't know if you can hear that, but it really is taking the hair off. Now, for some of you, it will be a very expensive razor. It comes in two finishes. It comes in a machined finish. And obviously, that will leave the CNC machine marks on parts of the razor. Um, personally, I don't like that, but I know lots of you guys are quite okay with that. And that comes in at 220 US dollars. Now it is entirely made in the USA. And the other finish they do is a highly polished finish. Now, That comes in at $270. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. But this one that I've got, and I'll show you a little bit more at the end, is actually a brushed finish or a slight satin finish. And uh, that is because when Sven bought this, he bought the machined version and uh, didn't like it and um, put an extra, a little bit of polish on this just to bring up, bring it up to a satin finish and take away those machine marks. It's nice to see that you've got some options there because I know when stainless steel razors started to become more popular they seemed very expensive to me at the time um, And they will no doubt seem, still seem that way to a lot of people. But I couldn't sort of tie in the price point with the fact that there were machine marks left on the razor. To me, it looked a bit unfinished. But nowadays we've got the choice. Um, you know, prices have come down a little bit and, you know, we've really got a choice of whether we want those machine marks or not. Um, so that's really good. Now, the stand itself is very small, but it's 45 US dollars. What's that? About 30 pounds. That seems quite a lot of money to me. So we're having a conversation the other day on a friendship shaving Facebook group uh, about making 
cheap stand spear raisers. Uh, I was thinking of, you know, some wooden cubes and you could drill a hole in just to stand your razor. Being wood, it wouldn't damage the handle at all. There were some other great ideas there from using boards with dowling dowels in them uh, to bending wire. Um, quite a good conversation, but um, yes. Trying to think of some alternatives that we might use. Now, do you know, I've got absolutely loads of slickness on my skin from this soap. Loads. So we'll wipe that off. I don't feel there's any need for some Allen block. But I find this Captain's Choice soap to be really slick. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. Now I'm going to use a German quality body care today it is uh, an aftershave gel and it is John Whiskers and it says above there German quality body care it seems strange to me that that is written in English but there we go um, I like this it uh, is one of Sven's favourites and that's why he sent it to me and I've just squirted out way too much there but it absorbs into the skin very quickly. It's not very greasy. And it's just a really pleasant scent. Now I can feel, got a little bit of sting. Just because I've had a close shave. That type of mild sting just as you put the aftershave on. But that is my shave today with uh, quite a wonderful razor, I, I think. Some of you guys um, have told me before how much you like <coughs> the Vector. Excuse me, coughing through half of this shave. But I can certainly understand why you like this razor. I think it really is very, very good indeed. Everything is beautifully, beautifully made and finished. It's it's a wonderful razor. There we go. That's my shave for today. Thank you for joining me. You take good care and I'll see you next time around. All the best now. Bye bye.